Well, good morning viewers. Well, good morning for me. It could be good evening, good day. Hello, midday to you. Here we are in Lui on Coffee Chill TV. It's Friday morning, it's around 10 a.m. And we are at Rum Jai Shalom Pra Kiak Park. Did I mispronounce that? Probably. And I'll tell you what, it's 10 a.m. but it's already quite toasty because there's a lot of humidity in the air. It's been raining, uh, the sun's come out. But you know what? They say that only mad dogs and Englishmen go out in the midday sun and uh, maybe mad dogs and Aussie men go out in the mid-morning sun in, uh, in Thailand uh, for the purpose of making some material on social media. Yes, we're going to soldier on in spite of the humidity and we'll go for a short little walkabout through this park, a little bit of park life on Coffee Chill TV. Let's check it out. So there you go guys, it's not just flora, there's a little bit of fauna in this park. Maybe it wasn't super easy, so you can still see him through there if your eyesight's better than mine, but got a little squirrel there, there you go. We like to see a little bit of an ecosystem in the city. I tell you what, I like a city park, I really do. Um, a bit of green space in a city anywhere in the world, I'm quite partial to. How about you? I'm also partial to a little bit of exercise equipment in public parks. Now, exercise equipment in public parks and schools. It's a bit contentious, isn't it? The uh, litigious world in which we live in these days, you know, if, uh, you know, you go and exercise and uh, something goes wrong with the equipment, uh, do you sue the local council? You know, this happens, doesn't it, in a lot of places, but you know, in Thailand, uh, they seem to be standing firm. And uh, yeah, all kinds of uh, equipment and exercise apparatus can be found in uh, in parks in the kingdom and uh hey we're going to go and check out some more uh, exercise equipment up here
monkey bars, guys. How's that? That's old school, isn't it? That's old school. You know, primary school in Australia. Monkey bars. If you didn't do some sort of an injury at some stage in primary school in Australia on the monkey bars, well, did you really have a childhood? It's a badge of honour, isn't it? Um, you know, these days you don't see them so much. Uh, the monkey bars, they're kind of extinct. But they're, they're alive and well here in Lui, northeastern Thailand. So guys, you've got the path here, and you've got your little gazebos uh, perched out over the water, you know, and, you know, this is a little oasis, particularly for the workers. If you work in the central business district, the CBD, it'd be nice, wouldn't it, to come down here on your little coffee break, your tea break, your lunch break. Uh, maybe you just want to get out of the office, you know and uh come down to the water it's nice and cool here guys i tell you what these locals they know what they're doing um it's nice and cool here and avoids the toastiness which is all pervasive throughout the rest of the uh the park but hey guys on balance it's good to be alive it's good to be alive in thailand friday morning coffee chill tv let's keep rolling It would be remiss of me not to talk about the Crotons. Crotons, one of my favourite, my favourite uh, sort of short stump trees. <laughs> when I'm in, in Australia, I had Crotons in my garden. I had French pennies as well. I love French pennies, of course, but um, yeah, Crotons, I'm a bit of a fan. How about you? So we've got some marigolds here. They're not looking super healthy, the marigolds, but marigolds, you know, it's an underrated flower, in my opinion, the marigold. So folks, I don't know exactly what this tree is, this monolith of a tree. You know, back in Oz, we've got the big Morton Bay fig, where I come from in, uh, in Queensland, North Brisbane, the Morton Bay fig tree. Tell you what, there's a couple of fine specimens, aren't they? Look at those trees, guys. Aren't they huge? There's a bit of glare, sorry, with the, the mid-morning heat haze. But, um, and despite the fact that I'm a bit hungover, guys, as I film this, so I had a few sherbets last night. Where'd I go? Louis Bar, pub and restaurant. Louis Salon. Salon Louis. Outlaw Brewing. Had a few sherbets there, too. I even had a couple of beers in the markets. Maybe I need to ease back. But I digress. We're going to take it on. Let's go up. Let's walk up to the top of the little viewing platform here.
So there you go, guys. I believe that's the Brontosaurus. I could be wrong, but it looks like the Brontosaurus, the mega herbivore. The mega herbivore at the time of the dinosaurs. And uh, many of you would be aware, some wouldn't, but Isan, Thailand, um, you know, quite famous uh, in archaeological circles for uh, yeah, dinosaur fossils. There you go. There you go. And I tell you what, you can't pick it up, guys, because you're only watching, not uh, smelling. But I tell you what, oh, fresh cut grass, and it's you know it was raining last night too, so I love the smell of fresh cut, cut uh, grass, particularly when someone else has done the mowing. <laughs> Let's continue. You know what as far as footbridges go that one would be one of the most handsome footbridges that I've seen in some time so we better go and walk across the footbridge let's do that oh, before I do let me just tell you now once again this is a, a sense of touch the beautiful chill effects of the water the breeze awesome guys awesome tell you what I was a little bit uh, reserved cautious about taking on this mid-morning toasty walk through the park but uh, you know what guys sometimes when you go out and explore even when you've got reservations it can pay dividends Excuse the wind effects. Uh, over there, guys, that's the markets. I was there last night. The Outlaw Bar. You know, that was uh, one of the causes of my hangover today. Um, I had a few beers there. I had uh, Pomelo Pale Ale Draft. Not cheap, but quite delicious. I got a pizza takeaway from the markets um, as well. So, um, yeah, I just... I feel like staying here longer, enjoying these br this breeze, but uh, we need to soldier on. I don't know about those paddle boats, guys. I reckon some of them have seen better days, but um, some of them are taking on water. I wonder if they're still functional. I reckon they would be. They would be. Those hard plastic paddle boats, uh, they never die.
Well, folks, that's a wrap. Most enjoyable walk in the park. Friday morning, Loi City. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. In addition, if you got some time, check out the back catalogue. Many parks and walkabout videos can be found on Coffee Chill TV. Cheers for watching.